we have yet another distinguished Nigerian with us in the studio, in our talent craft. Now, okay, Harold, you're welcome to Close Flow. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. Now, quickly, let's let's start from the from the beginning. You do not uh, give Ivan the ability to uh, be literate enough to feed himself. Then you really haven't given him the tools he requires in the first place. So our platform focuses on giving every Nigerian the ability to learn in the different industries that they are interested in yeah. and get that actual skill that they can monetize and also show them how to monetize it. Rather than give a man a fish, why don't you teach him how to fish? Is, yes. it, is, that, is that what we are trying to apply here? That is exactly what Talentcroft does. So Talentcroft um, is focusing on the World Economic Forum goals, which um, the report showed that about 94% of jobs by 2030 will be obsolete. Hmm. And in the last um, 18 months, we have focused deeply on growing Nigerians in the digital skills yeah. space. Space. We have seen that by 2030, we'll be about 400 million. Yes. Over 70% of us will be uh, young and under the ages of 35. And so we <laughs> need to future-proof our country to ensure that we are able to export the right kind of information. The platform is essentially self-paced. Learn how to protect your intellectual property. Um, I also heard that um, uh, people have concerns with how artificial intelligence might duplicate. <laughs> so uh, that, that is why we, we are using advanced technology to be able to protect first your own intellectual property. Mm -hmm. So that no matter how much, they cannot replace you now so as a veteran. They can only be a copy of you. <laughs> but as we know, the masters will remain the masters. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Now, that's, you have mentioned that again because that's reassuring, especially in the age of piracy because now so for talent craft to get everybody off the road and to remove the fears you know the initial fears okay, so how do we remove that fear that you know tendency for people to just withdraw and say no 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not going to do this so uh, the, the solution is when not trying to reinvent the wheel as we are all here um, I believe that we have been a streamed live on um, yes on online yes Facebook yes and people trust Facebook now because everyone can have direct access to that okay so you can create an account yourself you can have your own password and you can publish whatever it is that you want to publish so same goes for this solution so you can pick up your phone you trust your phone and then you can record whatever you want to do just the same way you will send it via WhatsApp upload it secure it it is licensed to you and then through a uh, blockchain yes. that is decentralized, attached directly to your own wallet. So everything happens from your own phone at the comfort of your own home without any gatekeeper involved. Wow. Now, now Harold, what you're saying is this. You're asking the young people to stop looking for uh, Yahoo. This was that if they have a talent, they can actually, even if you don't sing, but you can write. You can actually, is that what you're saying? Essentially, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that Talentcroft offers a wide range of skill acquisition tools that you can pick up. So yeah. we also have cybersecurity. Good, you talked about you have courses in cybersecurity, uh, UI UX development, web development, and you can all start from your mobile phone. So all of these courses, we have people who have left well, uh, over 5,000 people in the last six months who have joined in and who are now able to earn it. So from their home, they're getting freelance gigs abroad from different platforms, and they really need to know nobody. No we, we, we have to sell this to the National Orientation Agency so that we can, uh, we can actually find a way to reorientate our young people. Now, okay, but we have some viewers online. Uh, somebody says, I don't have the name here. It says, does talent cost also cover young people like teenagers or primary school pupils? Talent Croft was primarily developed for teenagers, those who have just left secondary school or probably still in secondary school hmm. because uh, we understand the challenges of our current curriculum yeah. and so we focused on producing content, courses that immediately can get them off the bat to start to earn without looking for distractions. Hmm. Um, the students uh, are able to immediately get freelance gigs and virtual assistants yes, and, yes. and um, graphics. So we already have these talents. What they require are professional methods in perfecting what it is that they do, and certifications also make them mm. international. Mm. So, okay, yes. all right, now that you have mentioned that, when you say certification, it's good that you also uh, let Nigerians get to understand what that is. So what kind of uh, expertise would they be able to reach? So uh, we offer beginner, uh, intermediate, and advanced levels, but we also understand that majority of the teenagers and the people who are crossing careers. Yeah. So you could be a teacher, a class teacher, or you could be a carpenter, and you also want to, you know, future push yourself and get some more skills. So it's as basic enough for you to um, jump in and um, start a career in tech. 
the very basic knowledge. And then if you like it enough, then you can progress. So the average uh, course abroad is um, looking at the hundreds, two hundred dollars to start with. But what we are working with is things that is less than a dollar to start with. Beautiful. So that you can get the yes. orientation. That yes. Is. Yes. That is great. Now I like that. Now, so where do you see the real breakthrough? Um, okay. After they have earned some knowledge, after they have been trained, after they have identified their talents and whatever. So where do we see the breakthrough? Is it going to be a techo part access to the international market or? the right protection for them to actually get the assurance. So that's okay, let me take a leave. I, I think it's a young thing, it is it's broke. Um, the telco power gives us access to 200 million Nigerians. Yes. Right away. Yes. Right away, yes. So it means that whether we have a smartphone, because our, we, our platform is based on USSD, which is a 2G uh, and it's very low base. Yes. So whether you have a smartphone or, or not, you can access our platform. <laughs> All right? But you see the protection side of it through blockchain yes. and uh, artificial intelligence also gives us the global outlook. So you are not limited to revenue generation within our own territory. You can also generate revenue internationally without the high cost attached to it. Okay. All right. Before you go, just one last question. Yes, sir. So how about your school? Can we, can we reformat the old school? Can we uh, buy, out, buy off the old school and use this uh, modern system to now reenact the old school music? You think it's possible? Oh, yes, it is possible. So uh, we look at um, the film industry and we see how we always bring out VHS and convert them to Blu-ray, yes. and we're converting them to digital. So yeah. everything in the old can also be reprinted and regenerated to new and protect them for posterity. So yes, we have books now that we're also converting to audio books. Yeah. So it is important that um, every generation looks for ways to preserve old content because content Content is content, and content of the 1500 is still relevant in today. So yes, we work okay, So we probably gonna be getting. Yeah, you, you probably have to come to NTA and see how we can collaborate because of the content that NTA, NTA has. The silos of content, so I'm sure we can find a way. We'll work on that. Okay, all right.